Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. How an alcohol sclerosing injection can help a runner with an aroma. In some cases, if you've had a corticosteroid injection and it didn't work, then the doctor may offer you something called an alcohol sclerosing injection. So if the neuroma has been present for a long time and it seems that the only viable treatment is removal of the swollen nerve with surgery, there's actually a type of injection that can treat the problem without surgery. Alcohol sclerosing injections are designed to destroy the nerve and they have the same end result of surgery without all of the tissue damage, destabilization of the foot, and risk that is most often associated with neuroma surgery. So the way it works is that alcohol sclerosing treatments involve injecting a solution of either 4 or 6% alcohol mixed with local anesthetic directly into the nerve. The alcohol solution causes the myelin sheath or the sort of insulation around the nerve to degenerate. This slows conduction of the nerve impulses and then basically the nerve ends up withering away and dying. Now, this treatment is much less invasive than enrollment surgery. There's no incision, there's much lower risk of infection, there's no cutting of the intermetatarsal ligament that stabilizes the ball of the foot. This treatment is also considerably less expensive than surgery. Instead of having surgery to remove the nerve, you can simply have a series of anywhere from three to seven injections that can destroy the nerve and stop the pain without all the surgical risk and costs. Now, if you're one of the small percentages of patients who don't respond to this uh, alcohol treatment, you can still have neuroma surgery later if needed. When you have alcohol sclerosing injections to treat a neuroma, you're basically trading pain for numbness. The goal of this series of injections is to destroy the nerve to stop the pain. If successful, the result is that you will have no more pain, but you will have a small area of numbness between the two toes previously innervated by the swollen nerve. Keep in mind, this is the exact same goal of the surgical intervention. The only difference between the series of alcohol sclerosing injections and surgical removal of the nerve is that one has all of the surgical risks and one doesn't. Although the alcohol sclerosing injections have worked with the runners I have treated in the overwhelming majority of cases, no treatment is 100%. As luck would have it, one of the patients who actually did not respond to the alcohol sclerosing injections was a friend of mine. Bill was a longtime runner. He developed an excruciatingly painful neuroma, and just like most runners, he had a high tolerance for pain, so he ignored it for a long period of time. Well, after a while, the nerve became so painful that he simply couldn't tolerate it anymore. I mean, it had gotten to the point where he literally couldn't even stand for an hour at a cocktail party without sweat beating up on his forehead. So he came to see me and we did a series of alcohol sclerosing injections, but they actually had no effect whatsoever in alleviating his nerve pain. So we decided to do surgery to remove the nerve. Now the surgery went fine and he recovered as expected. A couple of months later, I was driving along in my car and I actually saw Bill out for a run. So I was excited about this, of course, because I knew he couldn't possibly run before the surgery. And so I pulled up next to him and I rolled down my window in my car and said, hey, Bill, how's it going? And he replied, well, I'm running. And I said, okay, well, how's the foot? And Bill said, it's numb. And I asked, is that good? And he said, well, I'm running. For the most part, runners either get used to the numbness or the numbness actually diminishes over time. Now, I had a massive reconstructive knee surgery many, many years ago, and I still have a small area of numbness, but it certainly doesn't bother me at this point. But again, just trying to make it clear that whether you have surgery or you have the alcohol sclerosing injections, you have to expect you're going to have some area of numbness which may be distracting but not particularly uncomfortable. Now, one thing to talk about is that just how I said there's no 100% treatment for anything, there's no guarantees with either alcohol sclerosing injections, corticosteroid injections, or neuroma surgery. I've had patients ask me, are there any guarantees with the neuroma removal surgery? And the answer is yes. There are actually two guarantees. One, you will get a scar. Two, you will get a bill. But that's it. There is no guarantee you'll be running pain-free after neuroma surgery. Granted, of course, we want you to run pain-free, and that's the whole goal. But you have to realize that surgery is the riskiest of all possible interventions. And even though it seems risky and scary, people think they should get a guarantee, and there is no guarantee. There's some final thoughts to give you when you're a runner and you're considering all these treatments. So you have to remember that as a runner, it is actually more important to you than the average person that you choose the best treatment. Surgically removing the nerve is not always the best choice if you want to keep running. But once you've made the choice to have neuroma surgery, you can't go back. Once you have surgery, the anatomy has been altered and the rules have changed. We can, we're not going to go back in and reconstruct your intermetatarsal ligament that we cut. Once you understand the full implications of neuroma surgery and you've considered all the other treatment options, surgery may, in fact, be the right choice for you, 
but you have to go into surgery with eyes wide open, knowing all the alternatives and believing that you've tried everything short of surgery to fix the problem. So it's critical that you discuss all of the non-surgical options with your surgeon before you have neuroma surgery or any other invasive and potentially harmful treatment. Above all else, make sure the doctor understands that you're a runner and you want to continue to run. Explain the events that you do, what kind of races you do, and the amount of training that's required for those events so that your doctor can take your desire for high-level athletic activity into consideration and then determine which treatment is right for you. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.